Hello everyone, my name is John Crespo. I'm the Director of Business Development with Forterra Credit Union. And I wanted to go over the loan forgiveness application process uh, for the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, many of you have received the funds, so now it's time to prepare for the forgiveness process. It's an 11 page packet that was sent by the SBA on Friday evening. So it's a lot of information, but we're gonna go over some just highlighted points to help guide you but please look over the whole packet to make sure you've gotten everything you need so that we can get this loan forgiven for you. Um, on the first page, you will see that there's highlighted here, there's one, uh, section one and section two are, the, are what needs to be submitted to us so that we can submit that to the SBA. So that's the loan forgiveness calculation form and the schedule A. That, along with the application that you are going to fill out, has to be submitted to us so that we can submit that to the SBA for forgiveness. The goal is to get this forgiven for you. So as you can see, I highlighted here, it says all borrowers must submit section one and section two, or number one and two, to the lender. And that's the calculation form and the Schedule A. Uh, as you can see what you need to pay attention to are how many employees you had at the time of application and how many employees you had at the time of forgiveness of the application. So what did, how many employees did you have beginning of the eight weeks and how many employees did you have at the end of the eight weeks? Because that will determine how much can be forgiven. The covered period is also important because it's a 56 day period. Eight weeks is 56 days. So we need to know um, how the money was spent within that time and it's highlighted here we're actually what I will send out is the highlighted application to give you a good idea of what to look at it's also there's so there's more instructions the first there's a lot of instruction pages on here to make sure you understand what you need to calculate and what you need to submit uh, and another important area on the instruction pages is the eligible payroll costs which is your payroll so how much payroll have you paid out that 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 now you can request forgiveness on and also non-payroll costs and non-payroll what the sba will forgive is mortgage interest payments not the whole payment the interest payment your rent obligations if you pay rent and your utility payments if you pay utility these payments cannot exceed 25 percent of the total forgiveness amount though so keep that in mind and if you have any questions, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help guide you along the process. This is the, the next page that you'll see is the actual loan forgiveness application. It's a very simple step-by-step. -step. You just fill everything out. This is a fillable form. So fill, you can fill everything out here. It's two pages of it. And at the end of the second page, there's a signature that we're going to need. You have to sign and date it. So make that part of your um, your application process make sure that's signed and dated for us we're going to need that now i'm scrolling along the because another section that you need to see is the schedule a this is a section where you input your actual payroll costs so take close attention to that one because that's going to help you uh, make sure you calculated the right information we will also be providing a very nice um, excel based calculator for you to help you calculate your payroll and your non-payroll expenses so that we can get that right number and get this loan forgiven for you and there's more instructions on just how to fill out the schedule a section uh, they put a lot of work into the instruction part so just uh, to help you but if you have any questions you can either reach out to your accountant or give us a call and we'll do our best to help guide you through it as well now there's the last two pages are also important and I'm just scrolling through there to get there so that you can see and it gives you an idea how many pages are on here as well. These are documents that you have to submit to support your information. So we're going to need bank accounts, tax forms, and payment receipts. Keep that in mind bank account statements or third-party payroll. So if you use an accountant that handles your payroll, you have to submit that information, your tax forms. So when you, if you are paying employees, you have to do your, your quarterly tax forms, we'll take that. And also payment receipts for your non-payroll costs. 
That information is the backup information you have to provide with this application. We're going to need backup information. All this has to be submitted to the SBA so we can get your loan forgiven. Because at the end of the day, the goal is to get your loan forgiven. Um, now, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. I'm going to give you my contact information here. Again, my name is John Crespo, and I'm the Director of Business Development with Forterra Credit Union. And you can see our contact information here. It's Business Services. Our phone number is 931-436-9088. And our email is businessservices at forterracu.com. Again, that's businessservices at forterracu.com. Please reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to provide you more information. There's always changes coming up. So as we get the changes, we will make sure we communicate that to you as well. So we're all up to date and we can do the best we can to get this loan forgiven for you. Thank you very much for your time and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.